If you've got a property in the Cleveland market you're thinking about buying, don't blindly drop your money. Send it to me for an in-depth, unbiased analysis. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, guys. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I am your host, James Wise. This is where I help you. Start, build, grow your real estate portfolios. Don't matter where you live. I help investors all over the world invest in low-cost Cleveland real estate. I can either go out and find properties that fit your budget, your criteria, your risk tolerance, or you can do what my clients did today. You can have a property you're thinking about and get me to completely analyze it for you. And that's what I'm doing for Christina and Jim. You guys are some out-of-state investors who came across this property. <laughs> and God, God bless this realtor that's, uh, that's trying to sell this property to y'all, man. This, this guy's trying. Bless his heart. All right. Here's what we got. 3115 West 16th Street, Cleveland, 44109. This is a four-unit apartment building listed at 428. No, it's it's not a four-unit apartment building. You might think that it's a four-unit apartment building because this guy listed it as a four-unit apartment building that is 100% occupied, but it is not a four-unit apartment building. So then you can go to the rent roll that our God bless his heart. This guy, he's trying. <laughs> Our, our lovely realtor laid out the rent roll for you. So he says it's a four unit earlier, but it's not a four unit. But here where the rent roll is laid out, maybe it's an 11 unit. Because according to him, we have four, four, $845 a month, four bedroom units, three, four bedroom units running for 875, two, three bedroom units running for 845, and one three bed one bath unit renting for 75 so that's seven eight nine ten that would be a 10 okay that would be a 10. it's not a 10 unit it's not a 10 unit either right so it's not a four unit and it's not a 10 unit what it is uh god bless his soul man he's trying it is actually uh a total of seven units okay what we have is uh, one, two, three duplexes and a single family home, okay? It's seven total units, right? All separate uh, homes. Seven total units in those homes. Three duplexes and a single family home. And here are the photos uh, prior to them placing the tenants. All these uh, units are totally occupied. Uh, as far as the individual <laughs> rent roll goes, uh, God bless his heart this real estate agent god bless his heart i don't have any freaking clue what the individual rent roll is i think he was trying to say that these are some of the rents like a 795 and 845 and 875 and an 845 but i don't know for which units because he also said there's four of these three of these two of these and one of these i requested the rent roll from the guy uh did not give it to me uh so i'm still you know, waiting on that. He he laid out the bed and bath counts for me, which I have on the screen for you, and I have the total rent, but I have no clue what each unit is renting for. But as you see, uh, where it says unit, right, instead of like one through seven, I just I I just like I labeled them as the uh, the addresses, right? So one five one nine Clark and one five two one Clark. That's a duplex, right? Oftentimes in the Cleveland market, uh, each unit of the duplex will have a different address, right? So that's one duplex, and then one five two three and one five two five. That is another duplex, and then either three one 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 and three one one three is the third duplex, and then three one one five is the single. Or it could be 3111 is the single, and then 113 and 115 are the other duplex, okay? Uh, but in totality, 
uh, we are getting $5,915 a month in rent or $70,980 a year. Now, uh, that rent, even though I don't know the individual units, uh, that is pretty reasonable, okay? That's actually slightly under what you could get. You do technically have a little bit uh, left on the bone. And as a matter of fact, as I, I said a second ago, 3111 West 16th, that one has definitely got to be the single because that's a 5-2. That's definitely the single, right? And then the uh, 113 and 115, that's definitely the third duplex, right? So I'm going to put my money uh, that 111 West 16th is the single. Now, 5915 is what the rent is getting right now. Uh, don't know the individual amount, but that's okay because, look, we got four 800... Uh, like market rent, okay, market rent, guys. We have four three one duplex units. The market rent on those is eight hundred, right? We have two uh, duplex four ones. The market rent on that would be eight fifty, right? And then that five two, you slap a section eight tenant in that bad boy, dude. One of those big beefy five bedroom section eight vouchers, you get twelve hundred bucks out that bad boy. So sixty two hundred dollars would be my guesstimate as to market rent for each of these units. And he's bringing in five thousand nine hundred fifteen. So he's close, right? He's uh, two hundred and what is that like two eighty five, right? Two eighty five, just shy, of, like you know, top value market rent. So his numbers uh, are definitely reasonable, right? And as far as the reasonable type of performance expectations you can imagine, we'll take his rent, the five thousand nine hundred fifteen or the seventy thousand nine hundred eighty for the year, and this is what I believe you'll spend on average. I think you're going to spend three thousand five hundred forty nine on your repairs and your maintenance. Now. That's not going to be two ninety five a month, like every month. This is what I think you'll spend on average at these various duplex because you're probably going to have a lot of zero, 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 and then boom, you do a tenant turnover, right? That's where that money's coming from. Vacancy and non-payment, right? The thing's 100% occupied at the moment, so you're not spending two ninety five every month on anything right now. I'm just having you allocate $3,549 towards that vacancy and non-payment fund, right? I'm not having you consider that uh, income at the moment. You get the money right now, yes, but I don't want you to consider income because I know eventually, dude, somebody's going to move out or somebody's not going to pay rent. And then CapEx, 3549 That's for your big ticket items, your roofs, your furnaces, your hot water tanks, right? So what do we got here? We got three duplexes and a single. So that's four roofs, okay? Roofs are going to be probably five to seven grand each on these, okay? Three duplexes in a single. We have uh, six, seven furnaces. Nope, I lied. Wait, yeah, no, yeah, seven furnaces. Tommy, seven furnaces, right? Seven furnaces. There's seven furnaces. Seven hot water tanks, okay? Furnaces. They cost three Gs. That's a total of 21 to replace all those hot water tanks. Uh, seven, that'd be seven grand. You got to do that every 15 years. You got to do the furnaces every 30 years, right? Now, I don't think you have to do any of that stuff today. Looks like he recently did some renovations on these properties, okay? Hey, lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> but I have you factoring in $3,549 every year to save up for that stuff because maybe four years from now you do one roof on one of these properties then like eight years from now you do another roof right and then you got your taxes that's pretty simple uh, insurance I believe you're going to be roughly $3,840 for the year water sewer I always guesstimate approximately $75 per unit uh, which, you know, in totality will be approximately 6300 but that could go up, that could go down, depending on how many uh, people are using showers, how long they shower, this or that. I got to tell you, though, you got a five-bedroom, two-bathroom home, probably on, on a Section 8 voucher. That's like your best-case tenant, right? That big old $1,200 voucher, that's great, but you know how you get a five-bedroom uh, voucher? You have a lot of kids, okay? So it's possible that you could go up a little bit in your water sewer from my metrics here. Lawn care, that's a simple one. Then the PM is five ninety one a month. Got to pay the man, obviously. You guys are out of state. Holt Wise, we don't work for free, of course, right? That's, that's my favorite line item on this whole chart. <laughs> so in totality, $70,980 comes in. On an annualized basis, I anticipate you guys spending $33,465, leaving you with an NOI of $37,515. Now, as far as price goes, I think this guy's price is too high. $428K. I, I, I think it's too high, man. I, I, I think uh, it's, it's like on the outskirts of Tremont, but, you know, 
you're right in the middle, like you're right between Trima and like a D grade area. So I think Section 8 tenants are your best. So you got to get a good price to rent ratio to uh, count for um, the risk of the neighborhood. And then if there's any deferred maintenance, because, you know, again, we got uh, four roofs, seven furnaces, seven hot water tanks, things of that nature. I think you need to get a discount. I think 428 would be way too much. I think 375, this is a really good deal. I think it makes a lot of sense at 375. And then as far as financing goes, the cool thing is, like, if you're trying to buy a seven-unit apartment building, you couldn't get residential financing. You'd have to get commercial financing. But with this, you have three duplexes and a single, so you could technically do four uh, regular 30-year residential loans. And in totality, that would amount to a $93,750 down payment and a $281,000 loan, which, after you back out your mortgage payments and all that jazz, if you picked it up at three you you're looking at a 25% estimated cash on cash return at a 10 cap so this would be a screamer of a deal if you could pick it up at 375 at 428 i think that's uh quite a bit right because that would put you at over a hundred thousand dollars per property right you could easily buy three duplexes and a single in this neighborhood for 375 so i don't see why you'd need to pay a $50,000 premium just because they all happen to be right next to each other here. You get what I'm saying? Like, even if you ran the numbers on this, sure, it might look like a good cash-on-cash -cash return, but that would be stupid, right? Because, again, I could find you separately three separate duplexes and a single for the price point of 375 So that's why I don't think it makes any sense for you guys to pay more than $375 for this. So let me know if you guys want to write it off for everybody else. If you like what you saw today, if you're interested in having me look over your deals, then represent you as your broker or not, totally up to you. Just send an email to my team, sales at holdwise.com. Give us your phone number and we will walk you through the process. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.